Johnson & Johnson, the $417 million judgment reached after a nearly month-long trial. There are more than 1,000 other people who have filed similar claims about Johnson & Johnson's baby powder. This morning, pharmaceutical and consumer giant Johnson & Johnson ordered to pay $417 million to this woman, 63-year-old Eva Echeverria, who was diagnosed with ovarian cancer 10 years ago and is terminally ill. She says she started using the company's famous baby powder when she was 11 years old and only stopped using it last year after seeing a story about a possible link between the talc used in the product and ovarian cancer. Do you have any fear that you might die here? Yes. A jury watching the grandmother in this videotaped deposition. Her lawyer is saying she is on her deathbed and currently too sick to testify in court. I have a grandson. And he's five years old and he loves me so much. According to the latest lawsuit, Echeverria claims she developed ovarian cancer as a direct and proximate result of the unreasonably dangerous and defective nature of talcum powder. Echeverria testifying that if the company had labeled their product with a warning, she would have stopped using it. Eva would like to get the message out to other women in the country. This is just the latest in a series of lawsuits Johnson & Johnson has faced from women with similar claims. Last year, juries in three different Missouri trials awarded women combined damages of over $300 million. I'm hoping that Johnson & Johnson will listen to us and give us a warning, give other women a warning. But according to the medical community, the evidence of a possible link is unclear. The American Cancer Society saying it is not clear if consumer products containing talcum powder increase cancer risk. Johnson & Johnson telling ABC News while it sympathizes with the women and families impacted by this disease, it will appeal the verdict, saying it is guided by the science which supports the safety of Johnson & Johnson's baby powder. And Johnson & Johnson is also preparing to defend itself at those other trials. But of course, for consumers, Amy, still many questions. Exactly, Rebecca. Thank you. So to answer some of those questions, let's bring in our senior. Johnson announcing a major change to one of its iconic products. Pure Johnson's baby powder from Johnson & Johnson. It's a feeling you never outgrow. The pharmaceutical giant saying it will no longer use talc in its baby powder products sold in the U.S. and Canada. In a statement, the company...